Abortion prescriptions are said to be given to young girls who then rush to the pharmacies to buy the pills. Pharmacists are concerned with a growing number of prescriptions which are often camouflaged under other cases. Mr. Benjamin Kumalo, a pharmacist, stated that they have to withhold pills to verify that they are taken to treat the right conditions. We do now and then see um, some suspicious looking prescriptions on uh, the drugs that we know could be used for, for abortion. Um, obviously that would be a serious problem because obviously abortion is illegal in the country. So the question is how safe are these uh, being used? Uh, the difficulty with the drugs which are being used for abortion uh, is that they are not intended for abortion, but as a side effect they cause the contraction of the uterus and therefore they are used for abortion. So one has to be very careful to see and be able to pick up that this prescription is it written for the intended purpose or not. Victims don't only go through emotional problems, but possibly physical complications such as irregular bleeding and other complications that lead to deficiencies. Um, it has also been shown that women who had an abortion are more likely, or a pregnancy that was not carried through, are more likely to develop breast cancer than those that, 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 that had full-term uh, pregnancies. So there are long-term effects. Um, but uh, as, it, as, as we know throughout the world, the, the debate is for those that choose and those that are against. A credible source from Central Hospital who spoke off-camera stated that they often receive cases of abortions gone wrong. She further stated that abortion prescriptions are not given by state doctors, but by private ones. However, it must be noted that any medication is ultimately lethal if taken without supervision, especially abortion pills. I'm Grace Livendow, reporting for the News on One.